Welcome to Reincarnated as a Slime Season 3, Episode Number 7. Let's try to shoot for 15 likes. And if you want access to my exclusive and uncut reactions, my Patreon is linked down below for only $3. Enjoy. Okay, drip. Right. I forgot she said that. Though our relationship will be brief, it'll still be meaningful. <laughs> Wow. That attack looked crazy, bro. At this point, he just wasn't strong enough, man. And him being a monster and her having access to holy magic was just a problem for us. Oh, when they caught up with her? Yeah, I forgot they left without her asking or anything. Slightly. <laughs> wow. Say, so why do you have a sword and... That, I mean, that's true, but he did say a one-on-one, -on -one, so. <laughs> yeah, because they're going to do that. Oh, you guys drew sticks. <laughs> I mean, unless, well, then again, they have that detached force of 100 of them, huh? That they don't really know about. I was going to say, unless the detached force comes in, then conflict should be completely avoidable. But with the way those old men operate, we don't know at this point. Also, the homie, the, the traitor is, no? These are like one of our best allies. Damn, the drip? I got me a jacket like that. Yeah, we're besties. <laughs> Aw, look at all these citizens enjoying life, man. Aw, she doesn't have that. Oh, Ram, she's gonna be like, what? I thought I would never see that again. Some Naruto shit. Oh, wow. No, that's straight up ramen. That shit is probably crazy. I wonder, that's gotta be Cap though. Like if he recreated the flavor like that, he, he must have like, that's gotta be monster meat. <laughs> that's gotta be pig monster meat. Like all the workers that don't be helping guild. Like the way they're using chopsticks, bro. To be, to be fair, I hardly know how to use chopsticks. And I eat sushi all the time. Bro, <laughs> whatever workers don't help Geld out enough, that motherfucker chops them up and cooks them here. Especially with like real ramen. Oh my god. I was about to say with real ramen, like the flavor that it has in the broth and shit. A gyoza, bro. Mm. What? You guys telling me I can't have a have a sensitive tongue to heat because I'm strong? <laughs> Is that really that weird? You guys trying to you guys are starting to realize who you're trying to attack, bro? What he can bring to you, man? Damn! She's a skill. My fault? Literally. Oh! Actually, a new product sold to us wholesale by the demon lord himself. That's why. Okay, so it's not necessarily theirs just yet. Of course. That, that way it spreads that influence, you know? It makes it... His image is better that way. Wow. Wow. <laughs> On oh, God, that's not fair. See, me, I wouldn't have listened. <laughs> Perfectly paved. Some Irvine, California ass roads. Oh, they, they installed it all. The shit they were showing a few episodes ago. Immediately hostile. I get it, though. Like, for them, it's just so foreign to see monsters just friendly, riding on wolves. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, okay. Wow, bro, what? 
Oh, okay. I feel like you guys gotta integrate them to the middle middle of the road or something. Dude, if only you guys knew. <laughs> they are the problem. I love this. See, like, this is what I've been asking for. They were mentioning the entire time about all this infrastructure, but we didn't see it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, like most people that get reincarnated wouldn't be that knowledgeable in so many different things, you know? Plain and simple. A bunch of this, I'm sure of. Hinata got the drip on with the turtleneck? Okay. Sick. Letting them know how, how the currency works. It's good. Thank you. I mean, we are, you already expressed suspicion on, on the clergy. You should continue because they are shady. <laughs> right. These old ass men, bro, really just out here ruining everything. The old road? Like what? Like the just the dirt ones they used to have running through the forest? Oh, what the hell? Wait, we saw them depart last episode. Okay. I was like, I thought they just stayed back, but yeah. Oh, they fucking planted some information on him, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Just you, by the way. Nobody else. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, that's not, that's not good. These fucking guys, bro. I think, like, they don't know about, um, Luminous. This artwork is really well drawn. D wow okay then don't tell me you don't gotta tell me twice honestly if it's something that might get me killed i'll plug my ears good luck yeah good luck funnily enough to the clergy i'm not sure whether or not they actually know if Veldora is back or not. Like, obviously, this seems like a plan. Like, a, it's just an obvious ploy. And they might most likely have the, the information that he is back. But they might not know. Bro got folded that fucking quickly. Instantly, bro. It took him 30 seconds of thought to just confirm everything they just told him and fed him. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice transition. Okay. The masks, I feel like it's unnecessary, but I get it. Oh, wow. Oh, this is uh, Shion's forces, right? Why would she do that? Y'all really just believe everything they tell you, huh? <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, the homie that was worrying about her. Oh, he found out. Mmm, the disorder, the disobeying her orders. Please be wary of the seven day clergy. Mm. What the hell? Oh, oh. Are you guys not suspicious about why he's here? Sorry if you guys hear cars and dogs and shit. I don't have the luxury of living next to nothing. <laughs> there are some loud people around here. Mm. The drip, man. 
Because he's been in slime form like this whole season pretty much just for animation purposes. You forget how drippy Demon Lord Rimuru is, bro. Nice. Yeah, boy, let's get it. Oh, because of that skill they got, no. <laughs> that was tough. Oh, paralysis or sleep or something. Some kind of poison is is on the on their daggers probably. It's a wild skill. Tie their feet, their hands too. Yep, and then just throw them in a pile, <laughs> in a human meat pile. She's so adorable. <laughs> Why is she out on the battlefield? I swear, they just be employing everybody at this point. Nice. Look at his design, bro. Okay. Choreography going nuts. Dude, you underestimate the hell out of your people, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. You never want to be complacent, but damn, have some confidence. She's about to get this whole plan cooked. <laughs> Gobzo just trying not to get fired. That was funny. He's like, wasn't that against or... Oh, I guess it wasn't, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. My homie's got, ow! My homie's got a simple little cut on their face and maybe one against their leg, the thicker part of their back. You had to cook me like that with your Wolverine ass claws? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, they're about to pull up, aren't they? Here we go. Final sighting before, before the big clash. Damn. Oh, they're getting cooked, buddy. Just wait till you see the pile. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, pull up. We gotta talk. I thought they were Oni. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Correct. Now go try to fight them, I dare you. <laughs> yeah. He wants it to be uninterrupted. He only wants you. Because then if it's if it's extra, it could cause problems. And I doubt he'd be able to stall a battle between Hinata and then somebody else that's really strong at the same time without having to kill one of the two. <laughs> Yo, this chick is insane. <laughs> Damn! What is that, like a 48-inch vertical? She would be a monster in the in the NBA. The music, they're gonna cut this off, bro. Oh my God, it's gonna fade to black soon. Why, bro? I just wanna watch this shit go down. Fuck, <laughs> I just knew it, I can feel it. Oh my God. Well, there you have it. That was season three, episode number seven of That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. There we go, people. We're out of the room. That's all, all we wanted to see. Honestly, I didn't even know we were going to be fighting this episode. I was pretty happy with just seeing like the infrastructural changes and developments that Tempest has made in the whole time span and time frame of like us becoming a demon lord and having to battle all these different people not getting to see the town develop obviously we would see huge overhead shots and every now and then they would talk about like a specific feature of the town but it was never like showing us exactly how everything operates and how we're connected and interconnected with the dwarven kingdom with bloomond and how we're trying to work towards being connected towards the sorcery kingdom you know it just i personally think that it's really really cool to see shit like this and so i was happy just watching all that play out and then we got some fights at the end so that's pretty cool too their whole idea like i was saying during the episode the rimuru's whole like stance 
on where his people lie compared to everyone else in the world is is really interesting to see honestly and it's it's a sign of a good leader because when you're underestimating them and you're saying oh we're still not good enough like as long as you don't push that notion so much as a leader your people shouldn't be discouraged if you like really hammer it home like you guys fucking suck like that type of thing then it can start to cause problems but as long as you keep having that mindset around of growth and, and um never ending work and wanting to strive to be better and stronger it's it's a good thing as a leader because as you see here all they do is train i know he wasn't directly responsible Sheon is but dude like all they do is get ready all they do is train and they are so unbelievably strong at this point that they're dealing with this perfectly fine like obviously a lot of the holy knights were landing very detrimental blows to Xion's forces, but because of their skill, they were healing. If they wanted to, since they are healing, they could just go for the death blow multiple times and it, they'd probably be able to overwhelm the Holy Knights. And watching it in action was pretty cool. And yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say. We are right on the cusp of a very, very serious development. If next episode comes around and we're still fighting i highly doubt we'll see the fight between hinata and rimuru next episode maybe just a few times but i feel like they're gonna go through and cover the biscuitiers and soe and Barry, benny maru's fights against the the upper echelon of the 10 saints before we move on to you know the main course dinner so i'm really looking forward to seeing how this all plays out but obviously we have to wait until next week to see how it all plays out so in the meantime make sure you guys like comment and subscribe follow my patreon in the comment section and the description down below it is only three dollars and you get complete access to early uncut and exclusive reactions that you get to decide on and influence that should be it guys i'll catch you guys in the next one peace